I'm on the hunt to find the perfect land to build your farm. Hello and welcome to the Stover Farm Channel. I'm so glad to have you here with me and it's speed build time. That's right, your farm gets built. We built this one last week, a real farm just north of the Indianapolis, Indiana area. And I found the perfect area to build the next farm. And I wanna thank everyone that submitted photographs, pictures, and stories about their family farms. I took all of those, I threw them in a hat, I pulled them out, and we've got Mason's Family Farmstead in Fort Wayne, Indiana. We're gonna build it. I'm gonna show you a picture of it right here. Now, the original farmstead was built in 1934 with the shop area added uh, in the mid-90s. And I think what's really interesting about this is I traditionally build farms all in one location. Like, there's the house, and then there's the barn, and there's the animals. And that's not always the case. This particular farm, it spans a little over 1,100 acres, and it's spread out. The old farmstead, it's off to the south. And the new tool shop, it's a little further north, pretty far away. And being Indiana, well, we're known for mostly corn. It's flat. And I will confess, I had to go ahead and do a little bit of prep for this one because it is so large. I wanted to create the arable land first. I planted some corn. It's all sitting under there. It's ready to go. We can throw everything down on top in the 60 minutes or less. And then we can grow some corn, a little backspace button, delete button. Enough talk, let's do this. Let's turn Mason's farm from this to this. picture of what we're building in the upper left hand corner you can see the massive distance between uh, the main homestead and, and the shop and let's begin i got my stopwatch oh i always forget that i got to turn my stopwatch on because if i don't then i'll get carried away and we'll go for longer time periods and then you'll get angry with me and i don't want that so i'm going to come in here i'm going to find my stopwatch i should probably work on getting a stopwatch that I can put on the screen instead of just having it on my phone on the lower right hand of my desk. Let's do this. Okay. I think we're going to start with the road and I'm going to, what are we going to do? I want the flat area so you can see we're on no man's land. So this is Alien Jim's map. We're on no man's land and I am going to come in. We're going to paint some road. So let's come into painting. We're going to grab the road. It looks like it might be kind of a, a maybe a cold patch or a, a like a, a, a oil patch type road. So let's maybe grab asphalt for this. And we're going to go with that. And I always, you know, I think it's important. We look at this road over here. I don't want to go too wide, but I don't want to go too skinny. So we're going to start and it is on an angle. So let's do this. We're going to just paint right on this current area of land that is already painted. That is, is that, yeah, that's asphalt. I was like, I looked at that from up above. It looked like, um, like brick or stones. But then I forgot Alien Jim did do an update to this map and he added a ton of paintable items. And this is also a map that I think is you know, very fortunate to get paintable plowed state. And what I mean by that is you don't have to get your plow out to create your fields. You can just paint this area on the map. 
Okay, I'm going to do that, and then I think I might add a little bit of a gravel dust to the outer edge. And this is probably wide enough for the road, although, you know, I don't know. Maybe not. Let's, let's come back in. Let's make that just a touch wider. I don't want to get off to a bad start. So let's just make this a touch wider. And then I'm going to add some gravel to the uh, to the edges and that's going to really I think help. And there are a few modders out there if you're on Mac or PC that have um created some placeable like roadway. Uh, Snake Bizzle is one of them. You can actually go on his itch.io page uh, and pick up pre-made, um, just drag them in, drop them down on your map. They will um, go ahead and auto-level the land. They have to be on a flat patch, though. That's one thing that I you know, have problems with because I like to build my maps with contour to them. Now, being in Indiana, that's sometimes diff easier said than done because it is pretty flat. And this particular build is looking to be fairly flat. I didn't actually go into the street view uh, just yet, although Mason did send a couple street view pictures. And, and I just kind of wanted to see, like, is, how is the road? How is the, the gravel road up to the, to the main house? Um, and it's, it's, it is pretty flat. So easier for me, I think, which is good this. We're just going to keep this going. And I'm not building, you know, if we had more time, I could build more, but we're just going to kind of focus on, um, again, the, the, the large area in the center of the picture. So there's the road. Again, it's at an angle. And you can see, we're just able to paint right over that land that we planted, which I think actually works in our favor. I'm glad I did that. Kind of cheating a little bit, I apologize, but I really didn't want to have to... Um, you know, try and paint. I th this turned into like, I think it was 45 hectares, hectares. I don't know, I did the math on it. Now, I'm not the best when it comes to farm sim math. I think I tried to do some math on one of my farms and I was way, way, way off on acreage. But according to what I planted, it was 45 hectares, which I think equates about 115 acres. So you know, the scale's not going to be right, and the picture that we're showing here is not really all the farm. Like, again, Mason said it was over 1,100 square feet. Uh, and from the pictures, I see a host of equipment. So I see some little bit of uh, white, uh, a little bit of New Holland, maybe a John Deere here or there. Mason, I, if you're out there, if you're watching, I'd love to know what is the equipment loadout for your farm. Uh, if you're there, throw it down in the description. I, we didn't get a chance to talk about that. Um, what do you what do you use to harvest with? Because I did not see that. I don't know. I'm probably going to choose... I don't know. I think I might go case for your harvester. We'll see. All I'm doing here is I'm just I'm adding a little bit of texture to the road. Um, I like to not have things so perfect. And I, I know I sound like a broken record at times, but farms are messy. Real world is messy. Um, roads are not perfect. There's bumps and, and potholes and um, not everything has perfect angles to it. And I like to have, you know, it's a little bit of this soft shoulder to work with to break up uh, you know, the kind of the monochrome look that is just a black asphalt road. And now what you're also seeing here is the actual squares that we're painting and the terrain angle of the map kind of 
causing some issues here. I'm not, I'm not painting on on the on the north, south, east, or west on like a perfect line. I'm I'm diagonal, so it's a little off, but it'll be okay because we can come back in here with a little bit of grass, which does look like there is. Yeah, so there's homes across the street, which I'm not going to have time to build for you. Um, but you'll just have to imagine, I'm already messing up that little line. I need to go to smaller here, Sober. Go smaller, there we go. And I do have to be cautious. I actually do need to get this all covered because when I hit um, grow now, anywhere I don't uh, have, you know, new paintable land or paintable textures, it's going to grow corn. And we don't want that. I, I probably could have gotten away with making that soft shoulder a little wider. We can go back in and do it. So let's just make that a little bigger. And we'll hit this. Like that. I'll show you what we can do. So we'll come into plants. I'm going to grab just the base game um, Meadowland grass that Alien Jim provided. I'm just going to run it not right up to the edge. Just, just kind of get it there. Keep it as far up as I can without going into that gravel. Then I'm going to grab a slightly smaller um, grass texture. I'm going to change my size ever so slightly. And I'm going to put down just a little bit of this on the side of the road. I think you saw me do this on the original Meadowlands. I just like it because, again, it, it provides a little bit of just contour it's not completely flat Okay, there's that side. We're not going to do the other side just yet because I want to look and I want to make a couple of like markers in here. So the road going north, or I guess it'd be south. I think I have my directions right. I'm going to put a marker in here. Let's choose some type of, let's gravel dust. It's a pathway gravel. Let's go ahead and mark this here. So this is going to be our road going south. There is going to be a house here. There's a little bit of field. And then about right here, I'm going to put the shop that they built in the in the late later 90s so that's about right now i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna i'm gonna <laughs> i'm doing this a little differently than before because usually like i paint my ground i put my grass down and then i come in with my buildings i'm gonna actually put my buildings down right now uh, and we've got to find something that really matches this building as best as possible and i i've just got to look through here let's see not too large that's the just the wrong way with that door i'm looking for something red Can i go into tools 
So Legacy Ag Shop. This is a little small. A little small, but this might actually be about perfect. And again, we're um, we're trying to do this as best as possible with the um, with what's available. And is it dark? Yeah, I think we'll go. I think we're gonna go bright red. So right there, it's sitting there as a concrete area. We're gonna put that right there. Now we're gonna do this other side. So let me find in sheds. We're looking for something like this. That is almost perfect right there. This is part of the red um, farm pack. It was also part of a Michigan pack, too. And this is kind of like that. Although that does look like it runs parallel to the road. So let me put this about right here. Yeah. Right there. There we go. Now we're going to fill all this in. We've got to add our grass and we've got to add our gravel. So let's come into our landscaping, painting. Let's do our grass first. And this is pretty much, you know, there's, there's a bit of a, almost a water retention area coming up on that field. And there's a big, large set of trees. We're going to have to add those. Let me come in here and... Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. And, and you know, here's the thing. Again, this is not a this is this is a like a great example of showing you smaller barns having the equipment, but a lot of acreage. They're doing a ton here. Um and it is not all in one area. So I don't know how you all maybe ATVs back and forth between uh, the main house, the homestead, and the shop. I don't know. You have to tell me. Okay, let me get some plants. And we shall put in our grass. And one thing you can do, you know, you look at this grass, you think, oh my gosh, this grass, like, it's perfect meadow grass. We need to rough it up a little bit. Now, come in here to your plants. Let's go ahead and put this little soft, slightly cut area in. And then come into painting and grab dirt or anything, just something, go to the smallest paintable brush you have and just like 
throw it down. Like, just move the cursor all over the place. No rhyme or reason for it. Just make that grass have bare spots in it. And you can change up, you know, what you're painting. You could put some gravel in there if you wanted. Because it does look like there's... You know, back here, probably some equipment that's going to go here. And now we need to put down our pathway gravel. Looks like grass all the way to the right there. Maybe I'll do that. And it looks like this kind of comes around like this. The back side of this shed. And we're going to put some grass in here. And if you're jumping around on this, this is a speed build that we're doing. This is round two of I Build Your Farm where I've taken uh, user-submitted farms. Their farm, their family farm, grandma, grandpa, doesn't matter, neighbor. Just a farm that you have, you know, an affiliation with or just really like or enjoy. Um, I think farms, they are, they're like a book. They just, they have so many stories to tell. Uh, and I like to hear about them. I like to hear about your farm. I like to hear about your family, what you've, you know, what you've done, what you've accomplished, uh, what you farm. Uh, and people are submitting those to my Gmail account with the Stovers at gmail.com, or they're just sending me a, a direct message via YouTube. Does not matter. There is really no, uh, nothing difficult about it. And then I'm choosing randomly out of a hat, and we're building it, making sure you're okay with it. Uh, and then we are building it in a speed build. 60 minutes or less, and I should check the clock probably. We're 20 minutes into this. We gotta get going. Let's go. Come on, stove. Let's go. Um, there we go. We got a little grass down there. That's looking good. Uh, we're, we're building it, and I'm, I'm hoping that I don't completely fail uh, and that you get some enjoyment out of it and you learn maybe how you can take your own farm a map like No Man's Land, which is basically just a completely open book. It is a blank canvas that you can come in and you can build whatever you want to on. You're certainly able to take, you know, some of the maps that come out and just use them as they are with the map makers' farms on them. But if you're really waiting for a specific map to come out, maybe don't wait for it. Just build it yourself. I'm actually, I think you can do it. I really, really do. I've had so many people say, you know... I gave it a try, and it's actually a ton of fun uh, doing it that way. So there we go. Now, I probably need to... I'm looking at this. I wish I had a slightly tighter view. I'm, I'm doing the best I can, Mason. I hope I do the farm and the family uh, good here. I'm going to add in... There's... I think there's grass all the way... Yeah, there's grass going all the way around back here. So let me grab a little more grass. Maybe do like this. And you're going to see, as I'm building this, there's some extra textures in here, some extra types of grass. And you might ask, like, where do I find this? Now, if you are, um, you know, proficient in Giant's Editor, you can go in and add, you know, tons of different textures uh, 
plant texture, crop textures to your maps. There's tutorials out there on YouTube, some really great modders that have shown you how to do it. The Maze Plus Discord server has actually gone in and created a very, very easy drag and drop um, uh, paintable uh, grass that you can you can get. So go to their Discord server, um, sign up for it, read all the rules, do everything correctly, and you can get it. It's drag and drop, and you get like all these extra plants. You can see these here, different layers, different types of um, you know meadow grass. Grass, grass, grass. <laughs> I guess they're all like bull grass. <laughs> and then if you get the most recent version of No Man's Land, you know, Alien Jim went in and made a big update on it and actually added a bunch of um, a grass as well. So here we go. Okay. We are doing pretty well. Now we need to add... I'm going to come into Decorations Other. And I need to add a slightly... Um, larger concrete pad out front here because this goes out a little further. Is that going to fit? Yeah, that'll fit. Just like that. Okay, perfect. Now, we're not going to add any equipment in here yet. We are going to come out and we're going to kind of come off this this area we're going to come up and we can see that there is there's grass in here too so there's a little bit of a uh, of a water runoff so let me go into landscaping painting i'm actually probably going to go into sculpting here real quick and i'm going to do this so i'm going to come down here and we're going to just very softly drag this up like this and then over and we're going to grab some plants and this is a little bit of grass let's go with like a maybe a dry grass state and remember the 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 planted area, it's all going to pop up as corn uh, when I get done with this and I hit the backspace button. Grow now. It's a mod you can get from the in-game mod hub. Uh, you push a button and your all your, your crops grow. So do not worry about that. I do have to be cognizant and make sure that everywhere that I have planted things, if I don't want it to become... Uh, corn that I get something else down or else it will become uh, corn and that would not be good so let's um, you know let's just come in here run a little grass down the side And you can see a little bit of water popping up here. No Man's Land actually has a water table under it. Here's an entire layer of water. So if you go down too far, you do hit water. In this particular instance, I'm not going to go down much further. I'm just going to plant some water puddles in here. Okay, and then, you know, maybe that kind of comes into here. And this is where you can start to have a little fun with it, too. Maybe you want to grab a different type of texture of something. We can do this slightly taller grass, and you could even, if you really, really wanted to, do what we did with the grass, or we did with the dirt, with this kind of slightly weedy, taller grass. Just like that. There we go. I like that. Looking good. Getting in my Bob Ross voice. You can tell I'm getting into it. I start getting quieter. 
talking slower. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can just do whatever you want with this stuff. And, and you, it, again, there are so many possibilities with this game. That's why I love this game. You could come in and grab some of these small bushes. You know, put a couple of these small bushes in here. There you go. So there's that. Now, right off of this corner, so up here, we need to make an area. So the main farmstead, I think we're going to put maybe like right there. But I need to come in. I need to grab some grass. We're going to come up off of this. And we're going to get rid of some of this beautiful painted or paint, uh, planted corn and we've got to put this uh, area in and I think I'm going to just do this so I'm, I'm, I'm not really I don't have time I think in this particular build to, to go further over this direction with field so I'm going to kind of use that edge of the of the uh, wooded area right here. Bring this down like so. And now we're gonna put trees in here. But first, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put grass down. It's always a good idea to put grass down. Always want to put grass down. And Mason, I don't know if you've got like a fence line around these trees, but we might even throw a fence line in here. Just something to kind of separate the field from the trees. Now, what I like to do here, I like to go ahead, I like to grab some. I like, you know, if you're building a, a wooded area like this, I like to be really, really bushy. Like, really woody. Um, so I, I do some of that, put some of that down, come in here, just really get it so that I don't have any areas. I don't want to, like, do trees on trees on trees on trees, although it's going to feel like it when I'm doing it. Um, if we put some of this down first, and you kind of go around these edges, and then maybe you do the same with some, uh, some of this... Right, just right around the edges. It really helps sell it. Make it feel like it's real. Okay, and then we'll paint a little bit of dirt inside here as well. And all these trees look to be about the same height. So we're just going to grab some trees, probably going to go with American Elms. I think they render the best in the game, uh, maybe this size, and we're just going to start putting them down. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to grab some fillers. So these large pagoda dogwoods. And there is a mod to uh, increase the tree limit. I highly recommend you get it. I do have it installed. Because I put a lot of trees down on maps. And there are a lot of mod maps too that have, uh, you know, some significant amounts of trees on them. Like thousands of trees. trying to keep these all about roughly the same height. And you see what I'm talking about when you get down here. Because we put in some of that bush to begin with, you can't see through it. There's no empty spots. That's pretty good. Now let's grab, let's go ahead and grab a couple of fenced sections. Again, Mason, I don't know if you've got this on this particular area, but I always like this. 
um, I like this fence. This is a, I think it's a cattle fence, but it just, it looks really nice to go around wooded areas. Just like that. And then let's grab a little bit of, get a little bit of color in here. So let me grab this. And we'll do that. Yes. Okay. So there's that. Very, very nice. Excellent. Now, we need to build... So we got that in. We've got the main shop area. We now need to come down here. We need to build the home. And Mason, I don't know if this is you know one of your houses or not, but we need to put a house in here. So let's grab our grass once again. Let's go about right here. That, I might have made that a little too wide, but that's okay. Come up. And we're going to bring this over to where our road is going to be. About right there. Bring it down. And I think there's a grassy area on, like, lining the road. So that's, that's good. Okay, there's that. Now we need to find a house that will fit in here. So let's come in. I'm actually going to go into our productions and our generators because I've got some homes in here that might fit the bill fairly well. That could do it. No. We're going to have to go with what's available in Farm Sam. Ooh, I think that's actually decently close. So there's... Oh, what about this? Yeah, that might be a little better. Let's put this right here. And then there is a garage area or something. So let me come into my buildings. Let me find... A small garage. It's a little too big, I think. Um, what can we use? What can we use? Let's grab... Oh, I know what we can use. We can use... That's way too big. I'm wrong. I'm completely wrong. might actually work. Especially if we do... This is kind of sitting on the road right here. Kind of do that and turn it. It's way too big there. There we go. We can add... Oh, you know what? That would actually maybe work... Let's do that. Demo this, yes. Let's put this in here. Now, we're going to come and put some nicer grass plants. Let's do a... This is what I was talking about. You can come in, you can choose multiple layers of grass, whatever you'd like. Um, I actually like this one. So, let's do this. And this does not grow, either, if you're curious. Some of them do. Not all of them, though. I'm run that like so. Over to here. We're going to do this first, and then we're going to come in, and we'll put our driveway in. 
and our trees. So let's grab something for the driveway. Gravel dust will work for this. And again, it's a little off because I don't have like the same assets here as we do in real life. So maybe we'll just take a little bit of creative license here, run the driveway around like this to there, bring that down. Yeah, I like that. And then there are some trees here. So let's grab a couple of small, smaller. So let's go there, bush there, and then back out here. Let's come in with something. It's kind of like this, kind of does this. And then same way over here. And to break up, so you can see how, as I was painting that, the, um, you know, the area of the land was, it, it was like pixelating. I don't know what the right word is. I'm going to come into decoration or landscape and grab a little dirt and just run a bead of dirt along here. Just kind of like that. There we go. And then I think we've got... I can't tell if there's maybe a pool out back. There might be. There's something out back here. Let's see if we've got anything in decorations that'll work. I feel like Snake Bizzle might have something for us. No? Squiggles, do you have anything for us? No. Buildings. Let's go back into decorations. Other... Oh yeah, and you know, I've got, I do have a snake bezel. Let's put a little pool out here. Don't, don't judge, don't judge. This is the only pool I have that would fit. We'll put that right there. And then I think I might see a, like another type of, uh, I don't know, like a shed out back here. Kind of like that. And then I think, you know, I would probably, if this... Or me, I would likely potentially have a fence around it. So let's just go ahead and put a fence in. I don't know if it is or not. I'll have to go and look on the on the Google Earth view. But just for you know, a little creative license, we'll throw we'll go ahead and throw a fence in here. Excellent. Okay. We need to make this really long driveway. <clears throat> so let's do it. All right. So let's come into landscaping, painting. Let's find what we were going to use for the pathway gravel. And let's do it. I'm going to try and make this as perfect as possible. But I have no... I already messed it up. <laughs> Already messed it up. That's okay. We're going to put a little grass on the edges. And we're running this up here. I got to be cognizant of where I'm at. So this has to go past... Really goes past that uh, treed area.
we are past it, and then there it curves. So we get a curve here. Then we're moving over. We should, yeah, right there. We get really close to that X that we drew. And then this spins back around and comes up. And then it turns into um, more of a, like a gravel pathway. So then let's grab some grass. Let's grab dry grass. And then this starts up really all the way up the field. Like that as uh, grass on both sides. Ah, uh, you hear the Yeti? I think that's Alien Jim's Yeti. Or, I don't know who else that would be. Could be Bigfoot, maybe. So we'll do that, and then we'll grab a little bit of dirt. Spin around, go on a small setting, and start making... a pathway Just like that. Okay. Now, for the actual... So this is the original 1934 farmstead was right here. Let's come into grass. Let's put down grass first. Um, like this. So let's take that up. Then let's come over... And then let's come down. And there is some area here too. And I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this in with grass because we'll put the gravel in after. And we've got to put the shops in too. Now I need to come over, stand by, I need to come out of the build mode and I need to open up my other screenshot of the farm. Okay, I've got this open and I can throw it up for you to see as well uh, because I do have a slightly better view. I'm going to save the game too. I always, oh, so critical that we save the game. Okay. I don't want to lose that. Okay, back in the build mode. So. We have... Okay, that's a silo. I see that now. Okay. So back into landscaping, painting to grass. And let's just take our... So let's put a house in here first. Let's find a house that will work. Again, I'm going to have to, you know, take a little bit of creative license here because I don't have... How does that? Would that work? 
Not really. It's kind of the wrong way around. But we can do this here, and this is going to help us. Then we can put a garage in. So let's find sheds. Let's put a garage in right next to it. See if I can match gray here. There we go. And I think I need to expand on my on my grass out here. How are we doing on time, folks? Ooh, 50 minutes. We're, we're so close. We're so close. I want to put equipment in. I want to I want to do the farm. I want to do the farm correctly. Um, I feel like I need to I feel like I need to increase over here as well. We're going to go over a little bit. I have a feeling. I really do. Will I ever hit a perfect 60 minute build? I don't know. It's tough. Really, really tough. Okay. There we go. Plants. Get the grass in. I gotta be cautious. I'm getting messy. Getting messy. Calm down, Stover. You got this. You got this. Okay. Now on the back side here, we've got... So coming up the driveway, we've got... Let's come into our gravel. So the driveway kind of arcs. Kind of arcs a little bit and then it 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 kind of continues over. Oh. Getting all the way in there on the zoom. I've actually I do have a uh I downloaded a different construction camera. It's available in the in-game mod hub. You can have it as well, but it increases how far you can get in on something, uh, and also like how high you can go. It's pretty helpful, actually. There's that. Kind of turned around on this. There we go. We do that. That comes back like this. Shoots up. I want to put more grass in. Because we've got a building right here. I know the perfect building for it. We're going to drop in. It's all the way at the end. It's a white roof. Can I change the color of the roof? No. Mason, you're getting a green roof. No, you're going to get that, because that's, I think, the color of it is brown. So we're going to drop this in right here. There's that. And then we have more buildings over here. And I think I've got something that'll work for this. That's not it. That's not going to be it. There we go.
So there's a little bit of grass between here. And then there's another outbuilding. That's too big. That's too big. That might be perfect. It's kind of a little outbuilding right here. And I'm definitely going to have to increase. So let's come into our painting. Just put grass all in here and then come back in with ha <laughs> I see what it did I that that'll get you every time a little bit of uh so the 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 level of the ground has changed there ever so slightly so to get around this you could you could demo it come into your landscaping tool into your softening tool. Go ahead and soften this back up a little bit. Go back into your buildings. Find the building that you put down. I cannot remember where it was. There it is. And I'm just going to turn off the uh, the functionality to change the ground. So I, I just I don't want that to do what it did. Okay. Let me come into my landscaping plants. Let's go ahead and get this taken care of. And there is a bit of a gravel area over here, but we'll add that after I get the grass down. Anywhere I've got green paintable grass, I'm going to come in with this meadow grass. And then over here by the house, I'm going to come in with that shorter grass. And then I'll try to blend them, the two of them together, as best as possible. Like that. And then we come in with like a different type of grass. And we can, you know, kind of blend that a little bit right there. Have some of that come out over here and have some of the meadow grass over here as well. Okay, perfect. Now let's get our gravel and let's finish this. And I think because of the way I've got this design, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to cut into some of that 
pathway right there. I think I'll do that. And then right about here, there is this section that comes up here, and there's a little parking area right here. And that works for this barn because that's actually where I think the main door is. Nice. And then this, we probably need to make this a little bigger as well because there is a silo right here. So let me run this down like this. And... Like that. And we do need, so I wanna run along the side of the road. I want this to come and actually want to have some grass along the side of the road. I don't want corn to pop up though. So we've got to run this all the way down. So for right here, there's this little, there's kind of a little area right here. And it's okay if you, you know, you're painting like this and, uh-oh, you know, you get over too far. You can just go back in and, and put something on top of it or paint over it. I think once the uh, grass grows or the corn grows, um, it'll be okay. It'll be just fine. that and then let's come in we, we definitely though want to take care of this because we don't want corn popping up right there and we don't want corn popping up right here and if you had more time with this you could certainly do um, some gullies some ditches on the sides of this just use your terrain leveling tool, uh, and you could you could put a ditch in. And I think that would actually you know would add a little more realism to it as well. Because right now the way I've got this built, it's very flat. Bring this around, and we're definitely gonna have to come back in with gravel and fix some of my mistakes because I've clearly made some mistakes. And let's grab now some grass. And again, we don't have to use all the same grasses. We can come in with this grass if we want. Just again, to mix it up a little bit. Now we need to run down the side of this. Again, we will fix that. We'll come back in and do a little bit of touch up. And I'll show you what we can touch it up with. And it will look, I think, really pretty good.
I want to try this out to save some time. So I'm basically just I messed up there, but I'm I'm using my um, movement key and I'm just holding the paintbrush down and I'm letting the game move, the view move, and I'm hoping that I'm locked in sync. And you can see that I clearly was in certain areas, but that's okay because we're going to fix it right now. So I'm going to grab the gravel grass and we're going to come in and fix some of these areas. I'm going to go to a circular brush. And I'm just going to doesn't have to be, again, does not have to be perfect. But I'm just going to kind of get some of these areas where I overshot. You can use this gravel grass uh, really anywhere to help areas that need a little bit of, you know, messification, if that's a word. It's definitely not a word. But you can come in here and put some, you know, put some of this down. Kind of just, again, wiggle it around. We can do the same over here, too, if we wanted to. There. Okay. Now, awesome. We now need to put. Uh, oh, you know what? Before before I get too carried away, there are um there's power lines. So I'm gonna run these decorative power lines in real fast while I'm thinking about it. And they are in. They you basically just drop them down like um fencing. They are right in here. Power line with a pole. Uh, we don't want it to... <sighs> hate that. Okay. We're going to do this. Come on, come on, there we go. And we'll run these all the way down to the house. And I don't see a fence, but again, I'm just for giggles. We gotta put these trees in, landscaping trees. So kind of here and here, and then some smaller trees there and here. And then we've got some propane tanks. So that's going to be in buildings containers. Put a propane tank down right here. And I'm going to grab a fence. And I'm just going to fence to this area right here. And then I think I'm also going to come into landscaping, painting, grab a little bit more gravel. And kind of just make it so this area is usable. Again, we're, we're 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 dealing with what we've got available to us in farm sim. There is that. Now we've got some trees over here too. Some smaller trees and a bin.
It's a smaller bin, so let's see what I've got small bin-wise. It's about the smallest bin I have. Right there, and then we need to come in with some concrete. Landscape painting. Come off this driveway. So I think this is concrete here. And let's, you know, let's go ahead and give you a nice little walking area there. Excellent. Okay, what are we missing? We could probably come in with our painting again with some of that gravel grass. Where is the gravel grass? There it is. And just, just kind of, you know, mess this area up a little bit. And now for the fun part, here it is. We added a little bit of equipment in, and yeah, I went ahead and let the corn grow. And since you got the new Holland tractor in blue, I gave you a harvester in yellow. The original 1934 farmstead is here, and I gave you an Alice Chalmers as well. I don't know what you have in the barn. And if you like this type of speed build and would like to maybe have your farm put in the hat for the next build, well, send me your story to withthestovers at gmail.com. Again, that's withthestovers at gmail.com. Like I mentioned, I think I've got maybe one or two of these in me each month, but I'd love to tell your story of your farm in the very next speed build. Mason and family from Fort Wayne, Indiana, thank you for sending me your story. I hope you have a wonderful harvest season, a safe fall harvest, and we'll see you next time right here on the farm with the Stovers. Stovers.